Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about iOS 15.1 update on my iPhone 12. So as you can see from the screenshot, it came in about 1.41 GB on my iPhone 12. So yes, this is an iPhone 12 that I have been using and I have got iOS 15.1 update on my iPhone 12 yesterday night. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what are the new features and how you can update your iPhone to iOS 15.1. What are the the bugs that got fixed and how is the battery life and I'm going to discuss all the details regarding this update. So make sure you watch this video till the end and also if you're new here definitely give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel because it gives me a lot of motivation to make more of this kind of videos for you guys. Now with that being said let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section. As you can see from here, the software version says iOS 15.1 and if I could just focus, as you can see, the build number is 19B74 and with iOS 15.1 on my iPhone 12, I have got a modem firmware update as well. So the new modem firmware version is 2.11. 102. Now I had taken a screenshot. Let me see if I can find that. So as you can see before updating the build number was 19A404 which was on iOS 15.0.2 and if you take a look at the modem firmware it says 2.09.10. So definitely we have received a modem firmware update which will help us to resolve the any existing connectivity issues and talking about the update before updating the available free storage space was 29.98 GB and after updating it has sort of decreased I would say but it is 27.9 GB so that's regarding the update now if you're not seeing this update go to the general go to the software update and make sure this automatic updates are turned off and then again turn this back on also at the same time make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi then definitely check for the update if you are on stable version of iOS 15.0.2 or any stable version for that matter on iOS 15 definitely you would be receiving iOS 15.1 one update now first let's talk about what are the new things that we get to see in this update so iOS 15.1 comes with a bunch of new features the first and important feature is with FaceTime so if you have updated your iPhone to iOS 15.1 so if somebody is calling you on FaceTime you can actually do a screen sharing and apart from that you can do a share play so share play means while you are on call with your friends you can actually go to music and you know it, it, a screen notification would pop up where it would say that you can actually share the content you would like. So it's not only restricted to music, if you are having Apple TV application, let me open that. So as you can see, once you open this TV application, so you would be sort of, you know, share the content as well. So that's the kind of beauty and that's the kind of new feature that, you know, screenplay or share play offers to you. So that's the most important thing with iOS 15.1 update. Apart from that, for the newest iPhone models for iOS 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, we get to see the ProRes video support. So if you're having one of those devices, not iPhone 13, but iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max, go to the settings, go to the camera option. Once you go to the camera option, you would be able to see ProRes option. So make sure you turn that on. So after that, you would be sort of able to use the ProRes video, which actually looks cool, but takes ton of storage. So that's that. So regarding the new features, those were there and apart from that here and there, there were small changes like you could add your vaccination details on Apple wallet. My country does not support it, but if your country does, then definitely if your vaccination details have been synced with Apple health application, then definitely you can update that and you can add that to your Apple wallet as well. So make sure that if you are from a country where the Apple wallet is supported properly throughout all the ecosystem and if your vaccination details have been synced with Apple health application, then definitely you can now add your vaccination card to Apple wallet as well. So that's there. 
Now talking about the bugs fixed because iOS 15.1 not only brings new features it also fixed the existing bugs. The most important bug many people were complaining about the storage bugs. So if you go to the general and if you click on iPhone storage let me first show you my iPhone storage. As you can see it says 36 GB of 64 GB use. So this is a 64 GB model and let it just load as you can see these are all the application consuming uh, some amount of space on my iPhone. So if I go down as you can see the iOS captures 8.89 GB and system data captures 7.58 GB. So many people were saying like if they could just go to iPhone storage. So whatever the maximum capacity of iPhone they had it was showing more than that. I mean if for example if you are having 64 GB of iPhone it was showing 70 or 75 GB. It was just an odd bug doesn't mean that your iPhone storage just got increased magically. So that bug has been removed now many of people saying that and also many of you have complained that if you just scroll down this iOS and system data this were taking you know more amount of storage you know at the point as you can see my iOS is taking 8.89 GB if I click on that as you can see this says these are system files so I don't have the option to delete it but if it is something like you know a very large chunk of storage it is being consumed by iOS then definitely it could be a bug and most of the people had that sort of complaint and that has been resolved with iOS 15.1. So those are the things that have been resolved apart from that people were saying that they were having connectivity issues while connecting to Wi-Fi let it be you know searching their existing Wi-Fi connections people were also having trouble to connect to many Wi-Fi networks let it be 2.5 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz band. So with iOS 15.1 that have been resolved as well. Now talking about the battery life if I could just go to the battery life let me show you the battery health first and then we'll talk about the battery life. So if I just could click on the battery health as you can see it is operating at maximum capacity which is 100%. And it supports the peak performance capability. Good thing that iOS 15.1 did not degrade the battery life and the battery health. And as you can see, optimized battery charging is turned on and it should be. So keep in mind again that this updating to latest iOS does not, you know, degrade the battery health. It just rechecks the physical capacity of your battery. Now talking about the battery life, as you can see that the graph is in front of you. And talking about the screen on and screen off time, if I could just click on last 10 days, as you can see, the average screen on time is 6 hours 49 minutes and average screen on time is 1 hour 6 minutes. And these are the applications that I use mostly. So in general, talking about the battery life, I have been using iOS 15.0 for like two to three weeks and I would say the battery life was okay but I personally felt that with iOS 15.0.1 the battery life was better. Now I'm expecting that with iOS 15.1 update the battery life would be sort of improved. I would be only able to comment on the battery life after I use the phone at least for five to six days with regular usage. So definitely make sure you're subscribing to the channel and stay tuned. I would be uploading a dedicated video on iOS 15.1 a preview including the battery life now talking about the performance as you can see the phone is super smooth and I have heard that with older phones like iPhone 6s iPhone 7 7 plus once after updating to iOS 15.1 they were seeing a you know slight performance drop but that's not the case with the newer models if you're having iPhone 10 or 11 12 or 13 so definitely performance should not be and not an issue definitely as you can see everything is fine and the scrolling you know just going around through UI everything is fine so there is no issue with the performance. So then again I hope that you like this video with the help of this video I just wanted to let you know that iOS 15.1 is available and talking about whether you should update your iPhone to iOS 15.1 definitely I would recommend you to update to iOS 15.1 because not only iOS 15.1 comes with bunch of new features iOS 15.1 also resolves many existing issues that have been forwarded to Apple by Apple beta users. So definitely, definitely if you are on iOS 15.0.1 or 2, definitely update your iPhone to latest iOS 15.1. So with the help of the video, I just wanted to talk about all the update details and how you can update your iPhone to latest iOS 15.1. I definitely hope that you have liked the video. If you have liked the video, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you could just subscribe to the channel, that would make me super happy. So with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.